Thanks, Dave. You actually, you can't ask for a better forecast than that. No, Especially, it really is so nice. Right. All right, guys. So New Iberia officials say that they're the only city in the United States that they know of that has trilingual historical markers. That means they have markers around the city in English, Spanish, and French describing a historical site. And as Josh Manny reports, the historical markers are enhancing the city's landscape and boosting tourism. Kathy Indes is carrying on her mother's legacy. Indes says her mother was in charge of putting up nine wooden bilingual historical markers in the city. Over time, they deteriorated. 2006, my mother died, and I decided that I needed to continue with this project. So we began working on this, and we put up nine trilingual historical markers in 2008. Eight. Now you can find 21 bronze historical markers around the city, all of them featuring the three languages prominent in the city's history. So this is the story of this particular building in English, French, and Spanish. One of those markers notes the history of Church Alley. What's interesting is that it was left open even after Frederick Henri Duperrier died so that the sisters of Mount Cormo, who took his home and made it into a school for girls, it was kept open for the nuns to walk with their students to St. Peter's Church for Mass. Now, tourists visiting from around the world can get a better understanding of the city's rich history. Are you French visitors? Yeah. Vous êtes français? Oui. Voyez une histoire um, d'un événement qui historique or uh, quelque chose qui est arrivé. In New Iberia, Josh Menny, KTC TV3. The Iberia Cultural Research Association plans to erect more historical markers in the coming year. I think that's really cool. It's so neat. It was neat. so cool yeah. years ago when they changed all the street signs. I mean, it seems like that's probably been 15 mm -hmm. or so years, but the fact that they're putting them all, all the other markers now too and is awesome. And they all have all three languages. Very I cool. love that. All right, guys, we have two hours to go here on GMA. We're in downtown New Iberia, Bolony Plaza, for the first ever Tontanog.